Hello friends, this is Srikant and today we will be solving this problem of grid challenge of hacker rank which is in the algorithms and grid category. So we are given a square sized grid G of size N in which each cell has a lower case letter denoted, denote the letter in the ith and the ith row and the jth column as G of ij. You can perform one operation as many times as you like, swap two column adjacent characters in the same row such that uh, for all uh, g of i j and g of i j plus 1 for all valid i and j ok we can do this operation as many times as you want and it is asking whether it is possible to uh, rearrange the grid such that the following conditions hold this condition is basically whether uh, is it possible to rearrange the grid such that every row and every column is lexigra lexicographically sorted fine so the input is the t is the number of test cases and uh, n is the number of uh, each test case we will have we'll given n where the uh, following n lines contain n lowercase english alphabets each describing the grid okay so uh, how do we approach this problem so take this example there is one test case and the size of the string is five five columns and five rows so is it possible to uh, uh, have a case like uh, each row and each column is sorted in a lexicographical order if we see carefully in this answer yes it is possible in this particular example if we so the easiest way what we have to uh, what we can do as many times as we want is we can swap two adjacent elements okay that is basically we can use the bubble sort algorithm or any algorithm to sort uh, the elements in this uh, row okay not in the column only in the row we can use the swap functions so what we'll do is we'll swap each row okay uh, we'll uh, sort each row sorry and uh, we'll check uh, if uh, each column is also sorted by default if it is not sorted we will answer false otherwise we'll answer true okay so first of all uh, we will take the number of test cases t then uh, while t plus minus we will take n as input which is the size of the string and for int i equal to 0 i less than and i plus plus will uh, keep all uh, these rows in a uh, vector of strings ok so which can be vector of string and say uh, we call it as rows and there will be n such strings ok and we will take the inputs in this ok rows of i fine after that what we will do is we will uh, pass this rows to a function and see if it is uh, possible to lexicographically sort we will create a function for this is lexicography graphic sort possible and we will pass this uh, vector should return us a string saying yes or no ok because the answer asks either yes or no fine so it will take a vector of string as input we will pass it by reference so that 
no copy is created now first of all what we have to do is we have to sort each rows okay in ascending order so sort rows of i dot begin or rows of dot end so this will sort each row in ascending order fine after that we'll just have to check whether each column is also sorted for that what we'll do is we'll go column by column in say j equal to 0 j less than n j plus plus for int i equal to 0 i less than n minus 1 i plus plus y minus 1 will go to uh, the last but one row okay so that we compare it with the next element if rows of i j is greater than rows of i plus 1 and j okay so we are basically comparing uh, one element with the next element in the row okay and so on till the every uh, element in the column is compared so if uh, this is the case then we will return saying no uh, the lexicographical sort is not possible if uh, no condition is satisfied it means all the columns are sorted so we will return a yes ok and we have to print here with the new line fine enough so to rewind once again uh, after taking the inputs in a uh, vector of strings we will uh, pass it to the function and in this case we will sort each row first and for each column we will check if it is also sorted so we check for this condition if in the case uh, letter in the higher row is uh, greater than the letter in the lower row it means it is not sorted and we output as false otherwise we will output as true fine let's try to run the sample test case the error ok uh, here we have to give uh, rows dot size since we are not for passing the n variable or int n is equal to rows dot size ok we will use n here fine So the sample test case has passed, let us submit the code. So yeah, all the test cases have passed successfully. Hope you liked watching this video and hope it was useful for you. Thanks for watching and do subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are not done so and share it with your friends. Thank you.